So as you can tell already, I am not very good at Battlefield 1, but I'm NinjaWire, and welcome to the Battlefield 1 open beta for PlayStation 4. That's what I've been playing on, and my god am I enjoying myself. Now, I got this game um, a day early because I was with the Battlefield Insider, which in my opinion is a little bit fucked. I got spammed shit for like two months to get a day early, which I'm glad for because the day it came out, immediate DDoS attack, everything fucked. Everything was messed up for a while. And the next day, PlayStation didn't work, at least for me. It really sucked, and then the day after, I could finally play it again. <clears throat> Look at me getting bayoneted. God damn. Anyway, I wanted to do, well, I wanted to say a brief review, but it's going to be around 13 minutes. Um... I have been stoked for this game since it was announced. Um, I think it was at E3? Not too long ago. Uh, only about, what, three months ago it was announced that it was coming out. And the gameplay trailer, or just the trailer that came out, oh my god, it was a beautiful World War One. I. I was excited. It's a, a new take to an old era. <clears throat> it's beautiful. I'm extremely excited that it's been happening. Extremely. Um, so, let's get into the, the game itself. The graphics look beautiful. Um, you won't really be able to tell because I'm uploading this from my PlayStation. I have yet to get an Elgato. That's something I'm going to be looking into very soon. But thank God PlayStation has its own recording software. I've been able to use this for quite a large amount of stuff, like uh, Rainbow Six Siege and Battlefield 4, actually. Um, but I... <clears throat> the, just playing this, it's absolutely beautiful. The, the fire is, I think, one of my favorite things. It lasts for so long. It's big, it's bright, but it's not too overwhelming. Um, there's no night vision scopes anymore to fuck up your vision that way. So you're purely relying on skill in this game. That's, that's basically what it's come down to. Gadgets are no longer a big influence for how people play. There's no, you know, ECM jammers. There's no fucking lock-on rockets. None of that shit, which has been beautiful. I'm extremely excited, um, for this to be a thing. Um, it's, it's been very, very well done. Um... This is just me right now playing as a foot soldier. There's a little bit of everything in this except for tank play um, and I think artillery stuff. But I'm going to be uploading a few more videos, um, hopefully tonight, if I can get them out on time. Um, but my god, it's beautiful, the gameplay's fun, the ragdoll physics are yet again wonderful. I love ragdolls, um, absolutely amazing. Um, some different things that they did in this, uh, their classes are once again mixed up a little differently, and I kind of like the way they played out. Now, they're not necessarily balanced, or not necessarily balanced yet, and as you can see, their destruction It's one thing I'll get into in a few minutes. Um, they've been, I, I gotta say, the medic and the recon class are the two that are worthy because of the, um... The guns you get with them, right? You've got your full auto, semi auto um, rifle, which is very accurate at medium range. And then you've got your uh, sniper rifle, uh, whether it be the, the Enfield or the Russian, which is I'm, which I'm using. Um, it's just it's very, very overpowered. They're very easy to get kills with. It doesn't take very many shots. And then you roll into the assault class and uh, <clears throat> everything else, and it's just, it, it, it doesn't feel as balanced. And I have actually seen a Lewis gun be fired in real life. Um, I used to do reenactments, and one guy actually had it around, brought it out to the range, got to fire it the one day, and the thing was enormously accurate. Um, and I understand that you're firing it from the shoulder, and it is a very heavy weapon, but even laying down, with it and firing at people as a support class is near fucking impossible to hit someone. Even doing single shot or just quick bursts, it, it's almost impossible. You have to be relatively close range, which they were not about at all, ever. You know, it just wasn't a thing that was supposed to happen. You know, they were very accurate. They were uh, meant for support of fire. They were meant for all of this stuff, right? And, uh, you know, that was a problem. That's a problem I have with the classes. Now, I did get the French 
um, one, I can't remember what it's called, I kind of memorize the names of these eventually. It's not too bad, um, but once again, it's more of a close range uh, kind of weapon. But uh, <clears throat> other than that, I really can't complain all that much. Everything feels relatively balanced except for some of the classes and some of the guns. Uh, one of my favorite things is in this is the mounted guns on the planes, the tanks, the, the armored, or the cars that I'm in right now, and <clears throat> uh, planes, they're nice. You can take them out using ground stuff. If you have the time and you have the expertise to do it, it is nice and easy to... I don't even know what the hell I was shooting at there. I recorded this a couple days ago, but um, if you know what you're doing, you can hit pretty well. And once again, as I said, this is all reliant on skill. And that's something that I find absolutely beautiful. Um, one thing I'm going to get into... Uh, the weapons and the way they are for classes kind of drives me a little insane. There's variants of the same gun, so it makes it look like you have a wide variety of uh, weapons, but you really don't. It's like the MP18 artillery and then the MP18 trench. Um, slight differences in them, I think. It's just different attachments. But you were working so hard to unlock that one with attachments. Now, I don't know if this is still going to be a thing during the full game or if it was only kind of a feature released for beta. I'm not sure, but I, I just like it. I just like the fact that they kind of ran out of ideas to do anything with, which is frustrating to me. But uh, I'll get over it eventually. It's still, besides that, it's still a fun game. One thing I do want to really, really want to stress on is the um, planes. The biplanes, triplanes, bombers. Oh my god, is the gameplay absolutely fantastic. Dogfights are a thing again, and that's something I've missed for a very long time. Um, you can have, I think it's up to four planes at a time in the air from different spawn points, depending on who has what. So in this map, the uh, Sinai Desert, you've got um, your original spawn point, which has about three planes, and then E, which has one. <coughs> and you can choose while you're there whether or not you want an attack plane a bomber or a fighter so I'll go over them in just a second the fighter is that one that I'm shooting at right there that I'm taking down or yeah that's the attack plane sorry the attack plane is slower but hard hitting it has got an enormous amount of, of like firepower to it. It's got cannons on it that you use to fire to kill people with. And oh my god, they're very powerful. You can take it on a plane if you're accurate enough with only a couple bursts of it. And that's really nice. I like that. Um, it's slow maneuvering, but you can usually get out of the way in time. You actually do have a fair fight against fighters, uh, which is kind of nice. And then we'll get into the fighters. Um, the fighters are quick. They're very quick, very maneuverable. You can outmaneuver another fighter. You can outmaneuver a um, attack plane any day. The attack plane's really easy to take down as a fighter because um, they're slow. So all you need to do is slow down, focus on it. It tries to turn. You just turn with it like it's nothing. It's basically, you know, a wolf hunting down a rabbit. It's nothing. You know, like, it, it, it's just so easy to maneuver with and it's just absolutely phenomenal um the bomber is very big very slow and for the pilot you've got absolutely no armament whatsoever for yourself you are primarily dropping bombs that is your job that's what you are doing you are dropping bombs that's that's your thing <clears throat> and i'm totally cool with that i think that's absolutely a wonderful idea um but you do have two seats for another gunner attack plane also has a seat for a rear gunner so you got your front gunner and your rear gunner front gunner's gun is like ludicrously powerful um your rear gunner not so much but it does repel and do a lot of damage <clears throat> so those are kind of the planes the tanks i really haven't screwed around with too much that's a light tank there um they are hard hitting they are fast they are very easy to take out if you are a land what do they call it a land ship or a heavy tank. They're extremely easy to take out. Um, the light tank's are really nice. Um, even the developers have said that they're OP as fuck right now. So they're trying to fix that stuff and get it all kind of figured out. And here is gameplay of the horse, which is OP as fuck. 
Absolutely. I was expecting to maybe get one kill with the sword. Maybe. But to get four within this time period, I think it was four anyway. And I really haven't been paying attention. Uh, but I think I got a total of eight or nine overall just on this one run with this horse. And it was unbelievable. I couldn't believe the fact that I got that many kills with a horse. Like... It, 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 unbelievable. You either run them over or the sword, and it's kind of glitchy. You kind of got a few issues with it. Um, it can take its sweet dick time. Like here. Uh, I, I believe it's here anyway. I go to knife him, and I miss. I think I just run him over. Yeah, just ran him over. So that was okay. That wasn't a glitch. But there's another kill in here that I got that I was like, yeah, that guy shouldn't have died. I was way too far away, and it just kind of did its thing. I've been trying to time the saber hits, but they don't really work all that well. But the nice part is you can hop. The, the cool thing about the vehicles and the different things, whether it be in a, in a tank, a plane, or on a horse, doesn't matter what class you spawn in as, when you are on the vehicles or the horse, you take a different class. So if I hop off this horse right now, I will have a uh, rifle and that saber to use on the ground if I want to, but the horse is just too fun. It's quick, it's, you know, it's absolutely wonderful, and the rifle itself is just ridiculously powerful. Two shots to the body and take someone down. Um, it's kind of neat that way, but, uh, <clears throat> anyway. Oh, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, the... I don't like the conquest setup. I don't like the way they've done it. Um, the rush is a little bit odd as well. It's just something to get used to. It's a new Battlefield game. They're trying to change things up. I, my main problem is with the conquest, the ticket system. I just dislike it. Right now, it's basically you have to, in order for tickets to bleed, you have to own the majority of um, the objectives. But you get kills, doesn't count towards it, and I like that. And I understand why they did it, but I don't necessarily like why they did it. It's kind of frustrating in a sense to me. Um, but, eh, whatever. It's not a big fucking deal. Anyway, that's really all I've got to say about Battlefield. I'm going to be throwing up some awesome gameplay. And here's my flying horse. Yay! They don't fly, as you can Anyway, that's all I got to say about Battlefield 1, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, I will be throwing up some more footage as soon as possible. I've been NinjaWire. This has been Battlefield 1. Have a good night.